Hey, today we're going to be uh, replacing a power supply on a computer and there's a few tricks of the trade that I think I'd like to share with you. And this is a pretty easy uh, upgrade or repair. Just need a screwdriver and here's one of the tricks of the trade. First thing you want to do is unplug your computer. But I recommend leaving everything else plugged in because then you're going to take that time to have to, to re-plug all of it in and you can easily work around that especially if your computer's in a, a nice location like this one so I'm go ahead and pull off the cover and here's the trick Let's flip this thing on the side like that and i'm just saving all that time by by not having to unplug everything I'm gonna undo a couple screws here on the back Unplug a few connections here to the motherboard. Gently rock it back. There's usually a little clip to pinch and just pull up. We're going to have to unplug the power going to the uh, um, hard drive, and there's another clip there. And unplug the uh, power source to the CD ROM. So we're pretty much there on this one here. I've never may have to kind of look and see how they have this set up. Looked like there was just a little. Um, on this one, every computer is going to be a little different. On this one, there's a little release that, that's helping to hold in that power supply. Got our brand new power supply over here in the box. already locked in place that's easy enough this little cable tie for organizing all the cables and we're going to start hooking these things back up I'll look for our serial ATA power connectors uh, Right there. Oops. Now, one thing you might notice, I'm going a little fast. There is a little notch on here that's shaped like an L, and you'll want to line that up and, and don't ever force these into your hard drives. That would be a big mistake. And just make sure they pop in there and they snap in there. Now we're going to hook up the motherboard connectors. On this particular power supply, I'm going to go ahead and connect that first before I plug the whole assembly in so it'll all seat. If I don't do that, this one here is going to be sitting up and that could cause some, some problems for me. One of the other things you want to do is manage your cables so that you're not affecting the, the, the flow of the air through the case. And that's where I'm going to go back to our cable management tie and wrap all these extras up. These are if you're going to add extra um, peripherals to your computer. Sometimes uh, you need connectors for, for high-end video cards, you need connectors for, for additional hard drives and things like that. And so it's always nice to have a power supply with, that's going to allow you to grow your PC. And I'm just going to put these together, get them out of the way, not to 
tuck that back in there without really creating any problems. We are ready to close our PC back up and turn it back on. Another thing we might want to do is, is while you have your PC open, do some uh, maintenance, blow out your fan, and uh, um, a few other things if you have some canned air. Take it outside. I'm not going to do it right now for this video, but uh, I would recommend that on this particular computer that we take it outside. Don't blow it outside in your house. Make a big mess. Got our case back on. We're going to screw the power supply in and put the screw to the case, and we're done. Now it's the best part, it's the smoke check. We're going to see if it smokes when we turn it on. Um, flip on the on button. No smoke, listen for the beep. On. It's looking good. Very quiet. The old fan was uh, keeping the old man awake at night. Thanks for joining us.